How did Scoot go number one? I guess we're going to Indy. So we have 150 different balls that all have different things that can happen to Victor. Some good, some bad, some very good, some could possibly make him retire. Okay, all the balls are flying. Oh, they oh, I didn't even know they went up till the end. We have number one, lose all defensive badges. Okay. Well, lucky for Victor, it's only his rookie year, so he has six defensive badges. He's still gonna lose them all, but it just doesn't make much of a change. He got a big break here, year one. Move out the way, Luca. Here comes Tatum. That's a good start. I mean, that's not really a shocker. Okay, him making third seems a little shocking, can't lie. And we're in the playing tournament. Well, we got smoked in the first game, and then we took down number four overall pick Patrick Williams in the second game. Victor with 37 and seven threes his rookie year in a playing game. I'm sure half of those threes were off one leg. Got a good matchup here in round one, although it is the Cavs. I guess I gave Victor a little more credit than he deserved. They're going down on a gentleman sweep. Some people in the comments are very frustrated that I say gentleman sweep every time a team loses at five. It's pretty funny. And of course, Victor jumps up six overalls. Let's see how the marbles treat him in year two. Okay, minimum height would not be a good one. Could you imagine Victor just being 5'3"? He would literally get patched. Did I spell decrease wrong? Anyway, Den Crease is up uh, all badges by ones in the lead. And the winner's gonna be plus 30 to all rebounding attributes. That's really good. So both of these are just gonna get maxed out because it's plus 30. I thought that would make him a 90 overall, but he's right there. Let's see what happens this year. Look at Tatum going back to back. And Victor's now on second team. And he's got his team in the middle of the pack. Expect this for the next 20 years unless the marbles do something about it. We got Cade in the first round. Trying to stay alive. Down 3-2. They're gonna give it to Victor. Okay, that's not... Okay, 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 okay. What What is happening? Whitehead from... Th yeah, that's just not gonna go in, and they're gonna move on, or they're gonna force a game seven. And it looks like that amazing pass by Victor was the key to the second round. And maybe the 37 and 18 in a game seven. Now we got our first matchup with Scoot, and why is Anthony Edwards on the Magic? This might be the highest scoring hop-in game I've ever been in. They're gonna go to Victor in the post here, 7-5, working on Wendell Carter, posting up, post spin with the hook, gets it to go, tough shot. Ant gonna use the screen here, please don't pull... Okay, he just had to pull the fadeaway three, Man, every single player has to do it. And with the ball, you're going to pull a deep three, misses it, and that's probably going to be game. We're going to a game seven. Well, all that for nothing. The Magic proving they made the right draft pick. Well, at least so far. We don't really know yet, but Scoot at 32. And the Thunder win the championship. Giddy, here comes the Hall of Fame career. And now he's a superstar at 21. I guess we'll see if the Marbles can change that. It kind of sounds like I'm hate watching, which, you know, right, I'm not going to lie. I kind of am a little bit. I don't know if this is a dead end or not, or what's about to happen. Oh, it's a tell. Oh, that was, that was it. Oh, I got minimum weight. Oh, I thought it was height. Okay, I was about to say. So now he'll go from two. 30 pounds to I don't know what the minimum is. Oh my god, it's 115 pounds. I'm sure he still has the hezzy tween sidestep three in his bag, though. Yeah, he can still do all that. Let's see if he can win a ring. Got Shea winning one. And now we'll see this screen for the next decade. I'm surprised he didn't make first team, though. And in these the second seed, we gotta play the Bulls in the first round. So they're just gonna gentlemen sweep us as the second seed. That's great, 2K. Victor shot five for 19 in this game and somehow ended up with 26 points. Victor's become a free throw merchant. And now he's a 96. I know the marbles have good and bad things on here, but we need something to really spice up this video. Minus eight to his height would definitely spice things up. I don't know what's going on right now. They're all like uh, sitting around this green teleporter. Are they supposed to be dropping? Oh, they're, are they dropping down? I'm so, I'm so confused on what's happening right now. Wait, wait, where? Oh, they're flying over here. All physical attributes max was the winner. I don't even know where, where it even finished. All the marble's been doing is helping them, bro. Start hate watching. I don't think the magic did too bad on this draft pick. We didn't do too bad either. We got a round one matchup versus the Bulls again. Can we finally beat them? Why did this even go six games? Look at Mobley. He's a 98 overall. And I can't really be mad at this. They got us in seven. Victor was terrible in this game three for ten i don't want to see victor be a high overall and play bad i just want to see him bust let's see if the marbles can help us out with that now decreasing all your badges by two might make you a pretty bad basketball player and we're about to be at the end here and he is gonna get Kawhi leonard wow which means he's out for the year with an injury i can't disclose scoot going back to back and finally someone stopped this man from winning this award oh wait he's injured i i, I genuinely forgot i injured him <laughs> and they're playing against scoot in the first round as the eighth seed and well that's gonna be a gentleman sweep not surprised there and the thunder win the championship but scoot's been going crazy i gotta get him credit. Well, Victor's finally recovered from that injury that did or did not exist. Let's see if the marbles can switch things up. I would love to have this one happen. No more hezzy tween splashes. I'm not sure which ball this is, so I guess we'll find out right now. It is increase all badges by one. Of course, he gets better. So I'm just gonna press up on my right stick once. So there you go. Now he has all the badges in the game. The marbles love Victor. Oh, here we go. I'm surprised they're only the third seed, but they're playing a super team here in round one. And they're gonna smoke them here in game six. Victor with 30, 21, 8, 5, and 3. Nothing special. What happened in this NBA universe for Bam to be on the Knicks? And then for them to smoke us here in game seven. And the Spurs win the champion. Why is Darius Garland a spur? Victor's got one year left here on the Pacers. Let's see if the Marbles can give him a new contract or maybe trade it somewhere else. Or maybe actually something bad to happen to him because that really has yet to happen. Okay, minimum height is in the lead right now. And we're coming up to the end here and minimum height's gonna be the winner. Well, Victor, you better go get those job applications because you've officially been patched. I heard Walgreens was hiring, Wemby. You better get on that, man, because this is not looking good for it. Oh my God, you can still make that.
Okay, that's something. This man Scoot's having a Hall of Fame career. And Victor still won Defensive Player of the Year as a 5'4 center. Shooting 47% from three. Well, I can't wait to see this in the playoffs. Second seed versus the Heat. And they're gonna smoke him here in game six. Victor with 43, 24, and six. We better get a content game, man. Oh my God, this Bulls team is stacked. And they're gonna sweep this Bulls team? What? Since Victor's become 5'4, he's become a better basketball player. And now we gotta play Bam in the Knicks. And that's gonna be a gentleman sweep into the finals. Now we gotta play the Wolves who have Bronny. That's their best player. Okay. We're looking for a sweep here. Bronny trying to drive to the basket here. Throws it down. There's no rim protection with Victor being 5-4. Are they gonna try to get Victor this bu- I was about to say, if he made that. Bronny driving to the basket here. Gets fouled. Ooh, almost got the M1. They're gonna post up Victor again. Going up with the hook and he got fouled. Victor with the second free throw and it's good. Oh my God, they left Wagner wide open and he misses it. Okay, they still got a chance. Victor with the ball here. Gonna drive to the basket here, please. Oh, what a dime to Lonzo. Oh, we got it. One point game. Here we go with the free throw line. First one up and he misses it. Second free throw for Armstrong to make it a two point game. He gets that one to go. Victor going to set a screen here. Roll to the basket. What a dime. And Victor throws it down to make it a tie game. Armstrong going to drive to the basket. Here. Doesn't want to hold for the last shot. Misses the lamp. Rebound by Victor. Five seconds left to win the championship. Lonzo gives it to Victor. Victor down to the basket. Throws it down with two seconds left. No timeouts by Timberwolves. And here comes Armstrong with a full court hit. Oh my god, he almost made that. And Victor, down six with like 50 seconds left, leads this Pacers team to a championship at five foot four. They said get the job applications. They said go to Wendy's. They said a new spot at Walgreens is open right for you. But Victor took on the challenge, almost isn't as tall as the table right there. <laughs> He's gonna hold up the trophy. 47 and 15 in a closeout game in the finals. And he staying in Indy with a five-year max deal. And the Marbles took away the one big advantage Victor has over a lot of guys, especially when he gets into the NBA, and he still made the most of it. Now, it is possible the Marbles can give him his height back, but we'll just see what happens. I don't know what ball's in the lead right now. It's gonna be up to... No okay, trade it to a random team and lose all badges or going neck and neck. There's a square right here blocking the way. It didn't really get in the way that much. Who's gonna win this? And it's minus 30 to all defensive attributes. So almost everything you see here is going down 30. So now Victor's down to a 94 overall. Booker winning MVP. And Victor's still here on first team with the Pacers as the third seed and he had a pretty good year 29 and 9 not bad let's see if we can take down bam and the knicks and we're just barely gonna get by here in game seven now we gotta play a Cavs team who doesn't have garland or mobley got a close one here in game seven how is victor gonna score i was about to say here comes the reek whitehead there's no rim protection really oh he still smoked the left rebound by barry carroll gets it up and gets it to go victor rolling to the basket again throws it down whitehead open from three why did they just why did no one press up on him i don't know what hal burton's doing right now but yeah that is not a good shot bro i don't know what you're doing if he just makes one of these we'll get out of here and uh he makes the first had a rough game victor but it's all good and the blazers win the championship with shade and sharp victor actually went up one overall here because he was a 94 last year i think i've seen enough hate watching let's have something good happen to victor this time oh my god release the oh no he's gonna lose all defensive attributes again well it was either that he was gonna get released so both of those would have been bad so once again all these are going down 30 and now victor webinyama is not starting for his own team i'm doing the rebuild rotation and they're going with walker kessler booker winning another mvp and even though victor is a six man he is on all nba third team and the paces are still good third seed he was a six man dropping 27 7 and 4 he didn't win six man of the year by the way oh because now he wants to start okay now they made a the decision to start their best player and we got our rivals in the first round that's gonna go ahead and be a gentleman sweep we got the wizards in the second round this team sucks they got him in a gentleman sweep now we gotta play against luca in the conference finals we're not out of it yet he's gonna dime it to victor here gonna go uh, oh my god that actually went in look at the angle he got he threw it right in between the back of the rim and the backboard perfect angle to where he can't get blocked they're gonna get it down to victor again victor gonna get double teamed in the post by a five dimes it to walsh for three Oh my god! Luke again double teamed here with Victor. Goes up for the lap and gets it to go. Still a three point game. They're trying to go back to Victor in the post. Victor gonna get double teamed again. Kids in the corner. Walsh for three again. Oh, he smoked that one. You can tell from the angle. That's tough. I mean, Victor had a great game. It made all the right moves. The guy just couldn't hit the shot in the corner. And Philly went on to win the championship with Luka winning finals MVP. He didn't actually regress. We've just been making him worse. I just feel bad now for Victor. Took away his height. He can't play any defense. It's like, well, what, what does he actually do? There's a ton of teleporters here. I don't know when the end's about to come. I think we're getting close. I'm assuming this is 
the last teleporter, and it's, it might be. Oh, wait, that's the finish line right there. Is that all defensive attributes 99 winning? All defensive attributes 99, so he's going to get all of his defense back. And now he's officially back to being a 99 overall. And 5-4 victors back to MVP status. And we're the second seed playing the Bulls for the 20th time. And that's going to be a gentleman sweep. That dude in the comments is probably living the amount of times I said gentleman sweep. Well, now it's going to be a sweep this time, so don't get too angry. And then we have the Cavs. We have actually, oh my god, they have a really good team. Well, I didn't think they were that good to just gentleman sweep us. Ice Spice Finals MVP. Not my joke. That was you guys. I just, I, I got that from the comment section. I think the only way we can really make Victor better is to give him his hype back. Oh, okay. I think a ball got into the teleporter and tendencies all 100. That's a really good one to get. This man's going to be spamming Hezzy tween fades. Now they have Victor at power four. Let's see how well that goes. Victor going back to back. And we got the Bucks in the first round as the first seed. That'll be a gentleman sweep. Looks like Scoot's not on this team anymore, but they got Evan Mobley and Ben Caro. Got a close one here up 3 2. Oh, you can't leave Mobley on. How oh, nice double team, but he's too good. They're going back to Victor in the post here. Victor going to bust a move. Yeah, that a foul? I don't know what's more concerning, the foul or me saying bust a move when he was in the post. Oh, we got a mismatch, bro. Can someone help? I know, like, he's great on defense. He's got the attributes, but the man is 5-4. Trying to hold it for the last shot. Gotta get it down to Victor or something. What are we doing? There's five, four seconds left. Vic oh my god, Halliburton. What are you doing? And they're not gonna pull it off here. Barely losing in game seven. He's got one year left on his contract. Let's see what's gonna happen to Victor next. Okay, this map is very fast. There's almost nothing left. And right now, tendencies all zeros in the lead. And no Nobody's even a close second. This might single-handedly kill his career. This man's about to be a bot. And now we have Mikey Williams winning MVPs. And for the first time since his Kawhi year, no All-NBA team. But they were somehow still the third seed. And Victor averaged six points and 12 <laughs> rebounds. That's so bad. He only attempted four shots a game. Let's see if it's enough to win a championship. Well, they're gonna get a gentleman sweep here in the first round. Victor really amping it up for the playoffs. Now we gotta play Washington, who has a stack top three. Oh yeah, and we're just gonna gentleman sweep them too. If we go to the finals with Victor dropping four, game I'm gonna lose my mind. We're really about a gentleman sweep our way to the finals with Victor being terrible. This would be the most fraudulent NBA championship of all time. They're really gonna sweep the Thunder for a championship! And it looks like Victor's taking his talents elsewhere. This man pulled a reverse KD and joined the team he beat. Somehow that bad marble lasher led him to the most fraudulent championship in NBA history. And we're about to come to the end here and it's gonna be lose all finishing badges. Man, Victor's been having it tough the past five years. So now Victor will no longer be a 5-4 post god. Well, at least he's still a 9-9. Let's see what happens. We got VJ winning MVP. And back to back years, no Victor on an NBA team. And the Thunder are a solid six seed. He somehow played worse than last year. Five points a game. And we got the Rockets in the first round. They're a tough team. And the Thunder just blew a 3 0 lead. I would assume it has something to do with Victor dropping eight points and averaging four points in the playoffs, shooting 36% from the field. Let's see if the Marbles can bless him with something helpful. I have no idea what is going on right now. I just can't see anything. I think we're getting towards the end here. May they're gonna oh, they're gonna go right into the all, oh my god, all shooting attributes 25. We are killing this man's career. To be fair, he wasn't even shooting the ball anyway, so, you know, <laughs> this isn't that bad. Let's see how efficient Victor is as a 5-4 center who can't shoot and also won't shoot. Got Basala winning MVP. I don't know why I keep showing you this, but he's not here. And we're fighting in the playing tournament. Somehow won the first game. Amazing performance by Victor. And we won the second game, so we're going to the playoffs. He averaged two points a game shooting 35% from the field. This might be the craziest career fall off in NBA history. Let's see how they do versus the Suns in the MVP. Well, shocker there. They got it in a gentleman sweep. And Victor still couldn't improve for the playoffs. Averaged less points and shot worse from the field. The Thunder are paying him $120 million to drop two a game. Victor's gonna need a miracle here from the marbles. Which there are a few marbles like that that can make him really good in a second. You just gotta get the right ones and not unlock all cold spots. I think we're coming up to the end here and... Uh, oh! I thought plus 10 overall one! I didn't even see unlock all cold spots out of nowhere. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, now the court's going completely cold. This is... I don't even know. What, he might average one point a game. I genuinely feel bad for Victor now, man. This is tough. Alright, I'm kind of lying, but you know, it is what it is. Masala getting another one. And this Thunder team still keeps making the playoffs with Victor dropping 2.8 points per game. Let's see if he can step it up in the playoffs. Alright, well, they're somehow gonna sweep Dallas, but they weren't that good, so I guess I get it. Now we gotta play a tough Houston team. And now we're just gonna go ahead and sweep them, too. And now we got the Warriors. Oh, there's Scoot, man. Oh, God. I feel embarrassed right now. Because, like, Scoot's been probably doing so well, and we're out here dropping two a game, and we're out in six. Well, Victor didn't play better in the past, but he didn't play worse, so you gotta say he's consistent. I wonder if Victor's actually gonna get a contract. And they put Victor on a one-year $60 million prove-it deal. I think at this point, he needs any marbles that will give him his tendencies back. Well, so far, traded to worst team in the league is in the lead right now. And that one's actually gonna be the winner, so uh, that, that's tough, man. So now I'm gonna simulate a month, and then we'll see what the worst team is. And after a month, the Spurs are the worst team in the league. Oh, and this team is terrible. Oh my god. Oh, look at Scoop, man. He's killing it. And the Spurs were, as the power rank said, the worst team in the league. With your best player giving you 3.8 points per game. And the Warriors won the championship.
Yeah, man, Scoot's killing it, man. Gotta give him credit. Looks like he left the Spurs. And he joined the Clippers with number four overall pick, Patrick Williams. How about that? I can't believe he started off so hot with all these marbles. And then it just went, it went real downhill the last five, six years. Coming up to the end here. I don't really know if this helps you, but I guess we'll take it. Xavier Booker win an MVP. And the Clippers are actually solid four seed. When you're averaging less than Pat Williams, bro, you might want to call it. This will go down as the greatest fall off in NBA history. Now we got to play Scoot in the first round. I'm embarrassed again. And they're actually going to win here in game seven. How do you only score one point? That's got to be a talent. Well, they got New Orleans. They got a pretty good team. And they're going to blow us out here in game six. Yeah, Victor, you're going out bad, man. I'm surprised he hasn't retired yet. Then again, if a team's going to pay you $61 million to put up a point a game, you might as well. Or maybe the Clippers know about the marbles and are just taking a shot. Well, plus 30 tendencies would definitely help. It won't do much, but it'll definitely start us somewhere. Even a change to a new position, that might do something just so long he's not a 5-4 center anymore. And it looks like potential lowest possible is going to be the winner. Well, it was previously 99, so it's going all the way down to 91. This man is in trouble. All right, Trenton Flowers MVP. And the Clippers are somehow still relevant. I guess they made the conference finals, but their best players dropping three points a game. And this Sun team, okay, they got Basala. Yeah, we were due to just get smoked at the gentleman sweep. Victor putting up box office numbers. Looks like he went to get 60 mil from someone else. And he went to Minnesota to be the sixth man on a one-year deal. How will the marbles help him this time? Coming up to the end here, he's gonna get his max weight about to win. He's gonna be 5'4 and like 300 pounds. Oh my god, <laughs> he's swole as hell. Look at Bronny getting one. And the Timberwolves are terrible. And so is Victor with his three points a game. How does someone keep giving him $60 million? Like most teams shouldn't even have that cat space and they're giving it to someone who's averaging three points a game. Now we left the Wolves and now we joined a terrible Mavericks team. This will be our final marbles run unless something crazy happens here. There are a couple miracle type marbles that would completely change the outscape of this video in his career. But I mean, again, it's like, there's 150 balls. It's a very low chance it even happens. They're all just sliding on this wall. Oh, the finish line's right. No, no, no. There's no way this man just got a max contract. This 5'4 swole center who really can't do anything just got a six-year, $300 million contract. Basala getting one. The Mavs actually aren't poverty. Six seed. And Victor's had his worst season to date. 2.3 points per game. Now we gotta play a pretty underwhelming Denver team. We're just gonna randomly gentlemen sweep them. Okay. Now we gotta play the Suns. This team's not that good. And this might be where the video ends. And right now, Webb and Yama is not in the game. They need a three here. Oh, that's a bad shot. Okay, well, at least we're gonna have a game seven. And maybe Victor will score a point in that game. And we actually blew them out here in game seven. Well, they got kind of close. Well, he did score in this game. Gotta give him credit. Now we have to play the one-seeded Pelicans. And I guess we're not gonna get the Cinderella story. We're going down on a gentleman sweep. And this man still didn't retire. I'm gonna simulate until he retires, though. If something crazy happens, I'll show it. Well, it only took two more years, but he officially retired at 41. He averaged 15 points a game for his career. Wow, that's bad. He was still a three-time MVP, a two-time champion, one of those being fraudulent, but still, he got a real ring. And of course, he was a Hall of Famer. He's 88th in points all time, 95th in field goals, 95th in three-pointers, 75th in free throws, top three all time in rebounds. He's higher on assist and points all time, eighth in blocks, and 42nd in steals. Well, Victor, sorry the marbles hated you. Goodbye.